Luke 4, for those of you who want to read along. Luke 4, verse 5, it says, And the devil took him up, him being Jesus, uh-huh. took him up and showed him, him being Jesus, all the kingdoms of the world in a moment of time, and said to him, To you, Jesus, I will give all this authority and their glory, for it has been delivered to me, and I will give it to whom I will. If you then will worship me, it will all be yours. And Jesus answered him, it is written, you shall worship the Lord your God and him only shall you serve. Now, why is that verse significant? Let's talk about it real quick. Because the devil said, all of this has been delivered to me. Mm-hmm. All these kingdoms, all mm-hmm. these powers of the earth, it's been delivered to me. Who delivered it to you? Mm-hmm. Who did that? Mm-hmm. How'd that happen? When did that happen? When did that happen? Say it. Genesis. Mm-hmm. <laughs> In the garden, instead of having dominion and rule over all things earth, mm-hmm. We decided that we didn't want to follow God's divine plan. We didn't want to follow his his uh what's what's the term when when you have a a a, a process where you, you're pulling people through a process. You have uh, someone in the the it's pipe escaping me the I pipe. Know you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I almost want to be saying the grapevine, but it's like we didn't want to follow God's way of of life and rule and godliness. Pipeline? Yes. Dang, that, that was so simple. It was so simple, wasn't it? Dang. <laughs> so I know it's getting late. I'm like, we forgetting simple words. We getting old and it's getting dark. Right, it's getting old. Like, uh, oh, my God, pipeline. We just. <laughs> yeah. We didn't want to follow God's pipeline, yeah. if we're being honest. Yeah. He, he was divine. He was mm-hmm. creator. He was God. He was everything. And he set everything in motion, and he told us we could be rulers over the earth within his rule mm-hmm. if we submitted under him. Yep. And we got be- we got beguiled, mm-hmm. tricked, lied to into believing that God was holding something out from us. You, he wasn't giving you the full cut. Mm-hmm. He was holding something back from himself. He's not telling you the full truth. And with that stupid decision... We gave it over to, to him, to the devil. Mm-hmm. He said, all this has been delivered to me, but I'll give it to you. Ooh. Ooh. I just had an idea. He I said, my God, go. He said, I, could, I will give it to you. Just worship me. Jesus said, you shall worship the Lord your God and him only shall you serve. You know Why? Because only the Lord your God was able to take every bit of that contract that had you forfeit from being the ruler, owner, and dominionaire Mm -hmm. of the kingdom of earth, right? Mm -hmm. He took every bit of the the debt that was owed on that upon himself, Mm -hmm. suffered all of it, said, I won't just stop there. I will descend Mm. down to the depths. Mm. Where's them keys at? Mm-hmm. Like they do at the basketball games. <laughs> this is Jesus coming up out of hell. He said, I got, I got them the keys. keys. <laughs> I got the keys. I got the keys to death, hell, and the grave. And he came back in full power, said, I am seated at the right hand of God. In what form? Human form. He mm-hmm. has blended himself mm-hmm. to mankind. He has is, he is permanently, permanently sealed himself, locked in with mankind, with humanity. Preach. And now because of that, Guess who don't got no power over here no more? Mm -mm. (laughs) Because if I am a child of God, a follower of God, that's another thing. You want to be a child of God just because you were created by God don't mean you're one of his children. Let me be very clear. You are his child, but if you're not acting like his child, you're not his child. You are a spawn of someone else. Put it that way. You act like who your daddy is. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> right, like, right. So not every, I hate that argument. We're all children of God. Yeah. Yes, we are. We are yeah. all created by God, but we don't all act like God. That's yeah. what children do. Children act like, like the daddy. daddy. Yeah. You're right. <laughs> so, okay. That, with that being said, if I'm filled with his spirit and his presence, Right. Mm -hmm. 
I have power. I have authority yeah. in Jesus, mm-hmm. not of my own. So it's not like going back totally to the garden where it's like, hey, he made man and woman in his image and his likeness and said, hey, this is the responsibility and task that I am giving you and the authority that I am giving y'all as, you know, the 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 yeah. head honcho, right? Mm-hmm. Now, we have that in a divine way through the Holy Spirit indwelling in us, Jesus within us, God in us, right? He doesn't have power over us anymore. He doesn't have power yeah. and dominion over the kingdoms and authorities yeah. and powers of the world. And that's my thing. How are you going to have beef with a God who purchased all that back for you? You would have nothing Mm-mm. if it wasn't for him. All right. And we say that so loosely, but I'm just like, if Jesus hadn't came down, guess who still would have been in charge? Mm. Guess who still would have been in control? Right. Guess who would have been having his way? Euro stepping through the people of God right. all the time. Now I'm like, that makes sense why they were it just, they were having such a hard time following God. Everything was Everything. popping up. He was like, ooh, let me hit him with this kingdom, that nation, this, that, that, that. Now you see why God was like, wipe him out. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Take everybody out. Yeah. <laughs> Unless they repent, wipe, wipe them them out. out. <laughs> you know, yeah. just like. <laughs> and it's so funny you say that because, like, people have such a hard time under- grasping the fact that why would God want to wipe everything out? The children, the women, the, the baby. You want to wipe out the babies? Not the, the babies. Not the babies. Not the babies. Yeah, Save the, the baby. Yeah, the baby. <laughs> The baby needs to go. <laughs> the baby. The baby. baby gotta go. <laughs> the, the baby, the Diddy, the R. Kelly's, the 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 all y'all, the futures, the all y'all need to go. Stop it. The Rick Rosses. Everything. Everything. And you know why? It's the word that you said in that scripture. And it stood mm. out to me like 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 lightning. Worship. Mm-hmm. We you love mean, You mean this? Like turn on the music and <laughs> this, this is worship, right? Here I am to worship. I didn't know you knew that song. Here I am Hold on, to they, they they sing that in Koji. <laughs> I figured they'd be A like variation. Oh, they're very. <laughs> Here I am <laughs> to worship. Not that. Nah, you in the wrong key. You in the wrong key. You, I am. Yeah, you oh, got to go up. You got to go up. Well, no, my voice ain't built for that. Go ahead. Show them how it's done, Bishop. <laughs> but the thing is, is that worship, that worship is not lifting up of hands. It's not just the yeah. lifting of hands. Yeah. It's giving yourself over. Uh, yes. And the moment that Adam forfeited his right in the garden, gave it over to Satan. Yeah. Like you said, that's when he got it. That's when Satan got the keys. But when Jesus steps on the scene Mm -hmm. and he refuses to give himself over to Satan, Jesus then, like you said, inherits the keys. We are showing who and what we worship every single moment of our lives. Mm -hmm. If people want to jump in the comments and talk nasty about me or you, I really would want them to just really, if you're going to stand on something, tell me what I'm worshiping. That's not God. Mm. Tell me what I'm worshiping. That's not God. Tell me I'm full of pride. Mm -hmm. Tell me I'm full of hatred. Tell me I'm full. And you know what my response will be? Lord, if there's any of these things that are in me, take Take it it away, take it out, decrease. I must decrease. So you must increase. That response alone will tell you who I worship, Mm. even when I'm messed up and I'm flawed and I'm wrong. Mm. My response will tell you who I really worship, though. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm just like, we're showing so much more Mm -hmm. than we're actually saying. We are. And people are acting like, well, I said this. That's good enough. I said Jesus is Lord. That's good enough. Mm Mm-hmm. Even the demons in hell know Jesus is Lord. Come on. They know. Mm-hmm. Like Shawty Lowe, they know. <laughs> they know. They know. You know? They it's do. just like, but they don't worship him. That's the difference. They refuse to they worship refuse. him. They refuse to give themselves over to him because of the fact. God, we can go. Because of the fact that they don't want to give up. <laughs> they want to give up their own right to do whatever that they want to do to follow God. 
And that was the whole beef, the whole rebellion. That was it. Like, it was all a power trip. And it still is. It still is. To this day. It's going to be that. It's going to be that even to, to the end. Till Jesus returns. Because he's, he has all power in his hands. So if we know all of this, can we just start taking better inventory of our actions, our words, our relationships, our level of submission and surrender to God? Mm -hmm. Like, bro, maybe you just wilding out. I'm not saying anyone's past redeeming. Like you said, our hope and our goal and our prayer is that, you know, people, the two pastors would be reconciled. Yeah. I, my hope and my goal for everybody who claims to be a follower of Jesus Christ in a in a sort of nominal way, but their life doesn't show it, I pray you repent. Yeah. We need you. We need you. We need the kingdom of God needs people like y'all who have put their lives out there for the world to see. But the messages you're sending, the things that you're choosing to promote and what you're worshiping, that ain't it. We don't need that. We'll be good without that. We'll be good without you. The kingdom will be good without me. We good without you. You're right. Yeah. But I'm sitting here as someone in the body of Christ. I'm like, I want to see all y'all in here. Yeah. I want to see that. Mm -hmm. I want it because I think if we're all pointing to God, if we're all lifting up the name of Jesus. Yeah. Oh, my God. How many more people will be drawn to him? Yeah. And I'm just like, man, we're missing it, bro. We're missing, missing it. it from the top down, bro. Like We are. We really are. And and it, and it really starts with how we present the gospel and and how we really do salvations. Mm -hmm. Like it's it, being a Christian, it's not all glitz and glamour. It's not all just, you know, sunshine and rainbows. No, it's hard. It's hard yeah. out here. And we got to stop faking the funk. Stop. <laughs> we got to stop, stop faking the faking funk. It. That is just, you know, as soon as you become a Christian, you know, you got all the money in the world. Now. No, man, it's it's tough. <laughs> it's hard. Some of us, we not going to have that. All right. And But you know what? Guess what? I'm at peace. I have peace that surpasses all understanding. Yep. I have joy. Everlasting joy. Everlasting. I have the fruits of the spirit. I love people, and I do not like people. Say that again. <laughs> I was about to say, say that. It's the truth. I'm like, I really That's don't. why I do the things that I do, because I love people. I don't want to see nobody perish. I know that's the call on my life, mm -hmm. but the call on my life, it, it doesn't precede the gospel, yeah. which is seeing everyone saved, yep. changed. Healed, made whole. If if I knew you were struggling with something and I didn't do my part in telling you about this mm -hmm. and how it could fix it, then I failed. Yeah. I failed. And I've I've withheld the keys to your success or the keys to your freedom. Mm -hmm. I can't do that. Yeah. And that's and that's why I feel that that burden to just I, t I harp on this all the time to tell people. Read, like you said last time, read your daggum Bible. <laughs> read it. Facts. Like Sunday mornings is just not enough. Nope. Wednesday night Bible study is not enough. Nope. Like read it. 